Welcome, fellow explorers, to a journey that will reshape your understanding of the cosmos. As we traverse the vast expanses of space, we will uncover the groundbreaking discoveries that have redefined our solar system. From the controversial reclassification of Pluto to the enthralling discovery of the Kuiper Belt, we are about to journey through the annals of astronomical history. So buckle up and prepare for a voyage like no other. Are you ready to dive in? Let's begin. What if everything you knew about the solar system was on the verge of a dramatic shift? Picture this. Throughout history, our comprehension of the cosmos has been continuously reshaped by groundbreaking discoveries, each one providing a fresh perspective on our celestial neighborhood. From the reclassification of Pluto to the discovery of the Kuiper Belt and the intricate composition of comets, our understanding is ever evolving. Are you ready to journey through time and space to uncover these revelations? Let's start with a planetary demotion that rocked the world of astronomy. In 2006, the International Astronomical Union, or the IAU, made a decision that sent ripples across the globe. The ninth planet from the sun, the beloved Pluto, was reclassified as a dwarf planet. This decision was not taken lightly. It was the result of years of discourse and debate within the scientific community, and it sparked controversy among space enthusiasts and astronomers alike. The IAU, the official body responsible for classifying celestial bodies, had to redefine what a planet was. Previously, a planet was simply a celestial body that orbited the sun, but the IAU introduced three criteria that a celestial body must meet to be classified as a planet. First, it must orbit the sun. Second, it must be round or nearly round. And third, it must clear the neighborhood around its orbit. Pluto checks off the first two boxes with ease, it orbits the sun and it is round. However, it fumbles at the third criterion. Pluto is located in the Kuiper Belt, a region beyond Neptune filled with icy bodies and other dwarf planets. It hasn't cleared its orbit of these other objects, and thus, according to the IAU's new definition, it cannot be classified as a planet. This reclassification of Pluto was more than a simple change in terminology. It marked a shift in our understanding of the solar system. It illustrated that our definitions, our classifications, are not fixed. They can and will change as we continue to explore and discover new aspects of the universe. It's important to note that despite its demotion, Pluto has not lost its significance in the study of the cosmos. In fact, its reclassification sparked renewed interest in the study of dwarf planets and the outer regions of our solar system. Pluto's demotion was just the beginning of a series of revelations that would forever change our perspective of the solar system. The universe is an ever-changing entity, and our understanding of it must be fluid as well. Beyond the orbit of Neptune, there exists a region teeming with icy bodies. This region, known as the Kuiper Belt, was only discovered in the early 90s, and its discovery was a revelation that forever changed our understanding of the solar system. Picture yourself in the early 90s, a time when our knowledge of the solar system was primarily restricted to the eight known planets and their moons. But astrophysicists, ever curious, suspected there was more beyond the orbit of Neptune. They believed in the existence of a region filled with icy bodies. This belief was not baseless, as it was supported by mathematical models and indirect observations. In 1992, their suspicions were confirmed when David Jewett and Jane Liu Two tenacious astronomers from the University of Hawaii discovered a small icy body beyond Neptune. This was the first confirmed object in the Kuiper Belt, a region of the solar system extending from the orbit of Neptune to approximately 50 astronomical units from the Sun. The Kuiper Belt, named after Dutch-American astronomer Gerard Kuiper, is now known to be home to a multitude of icy bodies, including several dwarf planets, the most famous of which is Pluto. Yes, the same Pluto that was once considered the ninth planet of our solar system. The discovery of the Kuiper Belt not only expanded our celestial map, but also solved the long-standing mystery of the origin of some comets. Many short-period comets, it turns out, originate from this icy region. So the Kuiper Belt, in essence, is a cosmic freezer, storing primordial remnants from the solar system's formation over four and a half billion years ago. These icy bodies are like time capsules, holding clues about the early solar system and potentially about the origins of life itself. 
The discovery of the Kuiper Belt expanded our view of the solar system and hinted at the vastness of our cosmic neighborhood. As we continue to explore and understand this region, we are continually reminded that there's always more to discover in the vast expanse of space. Comets, the so-called dirty snowballs of the solar system, hold more secrets than you might think. Picture a comet. It's a celestial body made up of a nucleus of ice and rock surrounded by a cloud of gas and dust known as a coma. When a comet comes close to the sun, it heats up and the ice sublimates or turns directly into gas, creating a spectacular tail that points away from the sun. But beyond their appearance, comets are like time capsules. They're believed to be remnants from the early solar system, frozen in time for billions of years. By studying the composition of these icy bodies, we can get a glimpse of what the solar system was like around the time of its formation, over four and a half billion years ago. Scientists have found that comets are made up of various ices, such as water, carbon dioxide, and methane, mixed with dust. These primitive materials are unchanged since the solar system's infancy, providing a unique record of the physical and chemical processes that led to the formation of planets and other bodies. Moreover, the study of comets has also given us clues about the potential origins of water and life on Earth. It's thought that comets could have delivered a significant portion of Earth's water during a period known as the Late Heavy Bombardment, around four billion years ago. Some comets also contain complex organic compounds, including amino acids, the building blocks of life. This has led to the intriguing possibility that comets could have seeded Earth with the ingredients necessary for life to begin. In a sense, by studying comets, we're studying ourselves, our past, our origins, and the cosmic processes that have shaped our world. These icy wanderers are not just beautiful to look at, they're also scientific gold mines, providing us with key insights into our place in the universe. Comets, as it turns out, are time capsules from the early solar system, carrying vital information about our cosmic origins. Turns out, our solar system isn't as unique as we once thought. For centuries, we gazed at the stars, marveling at the celestial bodies that dotted the night sky. Yet we believe that our solar system, with its eight planets revolving around the sun, was one of a kind. But then, in the early 1990s, a groundbreaking discovery challenged this notion and forever changed our perspective of the universe. We found exoplanets, planets that orbit stars outside our solar system. Now, this was a big deal. Suddenly, the cosmos seemed a little less lonely, a little more crowded. It was like opening a door to a room we never knew existed. Imagine a universe teeming with a multitude of planets, each with its own unique characteristics and systems. Some exoplanets, known as hot Jupiters, are gas giants that orbit perilously close to their star, while others, referred to as super-Earths, have masses higher than Earth but lower than Neptune. And then there are rogue planets, wandering alone in the dark void of space without a star to orbit. The first confirmed exoplanet, named 51 Pegasi b, or Dimidium, was discovered in 1995, orbiting a sun-like star. This opened a floodgate, and since then, we've discovered over 4,000 confirmed exoplanets in our galaxy alone. This discovery has given us a broader context for understanding our own solar system. It's like being in a room full of mirrors, each reflecting a different version of reality. We learn more about our own backyard by studying these alien worlds, these distant mirrors of our own existence. The discovery of exoplanets has also sparked our imagination about the possibilities of life beyond Earth. If there are so many planets out there, could there be one, or maybe even more, where conditions are just right for life as we know it? Exoplanets have not only reshaped our understanding of the universe, but also sparked our imagination about the possibilities of life beyond Earth. Asteroids, often considered mere space debris, carry the building blocks of our solar system. They're like time capsules, preserving information about the early solar system and the process of planet formation. Asteroids come in all shapes and sizes, from tiny pebbles to behemoths stretching hundreds of kilometers across. They are clustered mainly in the asteroid belt, a region between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. But what makes them so fascinating to scientists? Well, their composition can tell us a great deal about our past. You see, asteroids are primordial material, remnants from the swirling disk of gas and dust that coalesced to form the planets over four and a half billion years ago. 
By studying their composition, we can get a glimpse into what the early solar system was like. Asteroids are primarily made up of rock and metal, but their compositions can vary greatly. Some are rich in carbon, others in silicate minerals, and yet others in metals like iron and nickel. This diversity reflects the different conditions in different regions of the early solar system. But how do we study these distant objects? While ground-based telescopes can provide some information, the most detailed data comes from spacecraft missions. These missions have involved flybys, orbits, and even landings on asteroids. They've also involved returning samples to Earth for detailed analysis. One such mission, the Japanese Hayabusa 2, returned samples from the asteroid Ryugu in late 2020. These samples, incredibly, contained water and organic matter. This discovery suggests that asteroids could have played a key role in the origin of life on Earth, possibly delivering the necessary ingredients. So what started as an investigation into space debris has led us to an astonishing revelation about our own origins. The study of asteroid composition has not only expanded our knowledge of the solar system, but also given us a new perspective on our place within it. These chunks of rock and metal, as it turns out, are much more than just space debris. They are our window into the past and perhaps a key to understanding our future in the cosmos. Our solar system has visitors and they come from far, far away. Imagine a streak of light, a celestial voyager hurtling through the immense expanse of space, crossing the boundary into our solar system. These are the interstellar objects, the cosmic drifters from distant star systems that have chosen to pay us a visit. The first of these interstellar guests was Oumuamua, discovered in October of 2017. This peculiar cigar-shaped object, with its high speed and unusual trajectory, was immediately recognized as not being from around here. Oumuamua, a Hawaiian name meaning scout or messenger, was indeed our first messenger from a distant star system. Its discovery marked a significant milestone in astronomy, providing us with our first glimpse of an object that originated outside of our solar system. Just two years later, in August of 2019, another interstellar visitor made its appearance. This time, it was a comet named 2I Borisov. This comet, unlike Oumuamua, was much more familiar in appearance, with a visible coma and tail characteristic of comets in our own solar system but its hyperbolic trajectory and high velocity confirmed its interstellar origin, making 2I slash Borisov the second confirmed interstellar object. The study of these interstellar objects gives us a unique opportunity to examine material from other star systems, compare it with what we have in our own backyard, and gain a deeper understanding of the universe we inhabit. These celestial visitors are like cosmic postcards, providing us with snapshots of distant alien worlds. What's even more exciting is the potential for future discoveries. With advanced telescopes and detection techniques, we are now better equipped than ever to spot these interstellar visitors as they pass through our solar system. And each new discovery will likely bring more questions, more puzzles, and more opportunities for exploration and understanding. Interstellar objects remind us that our solar system is just a small part of a vast interconnected cosmos. They underscore the immense scale and complexity of the universe and our place within it. With each new discovery, we are reminded of our cosmic connections and the endless possibilities that lie beyond the borders of our solar system. So how do these discoveries change our view of the solar system? Well, let's take a step back and look at the bigger picture. The reclassification of Pluto was more than just a shift in terminology. It was a sign of our growing understanding of the celestial bodies in our solar system and beyond. We learned that our neighborhood is much more diverse than we once thought, with dwarf planets like Pluto opening our eyes to a vast array of celestial objects that don't quite fit into our traditional categories. Then we have the discovery of the Kuiper Belt, a massive ring of icy bodies at the edge of our solar system. This marked a monumental leap in our understanding of the solar system's structure. It showed us that our solar system extends far beyond the eight planets we've grown accustomed to. It also hinted at the possibility of more dwarf planets, like Pluto, waiting to be discovered. Our exploration of comets and their composition has also yielded invaluable insights. These celestial travelers, made up of ice, rock, and dust, are like time capsules from the early solar system. 
they've revealed to us the ingredients that helped to form our planets and perhaps even seeded life on Earth. The discovery of exoplanets, planets orbiting stars outside our solar system, has been a game changer. It's not just about finding new worlds, it's about understanding the diversity of planetary systems out there. Each new exoplanet discovery expands our knowledge of what's possible and fuels our quest to find life beyond Earth. Let's not forget about asteroids. These rocky remnants from the early solar system are more than just potential threats to Earth. The study of their composition provides crucial clues about the building blocks of planets and the early history of our solar system. And then, the discovery of interstellar objects, visitors from other star systems, has truly taken our understanding of the solar system to a new level. These objects, like Oumuamua and Borisov, are tangible proof that our solar system is not isolated, but is part of a broader, interconnected cosmos. From the reclassification of Pluto to the discovery of interstellar objects, our understanding of the solar system is continually evolving, reminding us that there is always more to learn in the vast expanse of space. Indeed, each of these discoveries has expanded our view of the solar system and our place within it, painting a picture of a universe that is infinitely diverse and endlessly fascinating. In the grand scheme of the cosmos, our journey has just begun. As we continue to explore and uncover the mysteries of the universe, we invite you to join us on this remarkable voyage. If you've learned something new today, if the mysteries of our solar system and beyond have piqued your interest, then give this video a like and share your thoughts in the comments. We value your opinions and insights as we delve deeper into this cosmic journey. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you won't miss out on any future explorations. The universe is vast and filled with wonders we are yet to discover. Share this video with your friends and family. Let them join us on this journey too. Together, we can unravel the mysteries of the cosmos. And remember, the voyage is just as important as the destination. Until next time, keep looking up.